Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I'm very happy and honored to be connecting with you today. 27th of September, it is a Thursday, I think it's 27th, and um, today I'm going to be focusing on one of the deeper teachings that has been brought to humanity uh, by my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, and it's called Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Joining soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter as one. And I'll be bringing some of those wisdoms directly from his books to you, uh, as well as doing some specific practices. These practices are nothing short of profound in what they can accomplish. And so uh, for those who stick around today, you'll be witness to that. So uh, thank you for joining if you're one of the new folks. If you can't stick around, uh, then please make sure that you Facebook friend me and also um, subscribe and that way you'll know when I go live. <clears throat> uh, for some people that's difficult. Also for some people, they just don't have a whole lot of free time to be watching um, a video three or four days a week, which is how often I do my live streams. And maybe you're, you're the kind of person that would prefer to listen via audio. If you go above this uh, video, there is a link to my website and on my blog, it's basically a recording of all these webcasts. They come in about a week later, but you can from there download the podcast of your choice onto your uh, phone and then have this stream come through that podcast. So there's different ways in which you can access this wisdom if it's something that is important to you and is serving you. So I see that we have some folks showing up, some new folks and also some folks from uh, that are consistently here. Thank you all for joining. As Facebook goes out and grabs more of you, I will continue to uh, chat a little bit. So my teacher is uh, Master Shah, and he has um, been very integral in my life. He has taught me all things about how to reach towards enlightenment. Teaches quite a bit about soul. This, uh, this entire week has been dedicated to application of soul. Uh, Monday, I spoke about uh, how to actually do, well, that was Tuesday, we talked about soul communication. And both Monday and Tuesday, there was some extraordinary blessings offered in which people had some amazing experiences. Their, their um, imbalances, their pain, their suffering was cut in half, 70, 80, 100%. Uh, pretty good when you consider that it was a three minute blessing. So if you miss those, I encourage you also to go back and watch those. So welcome to let me acknowledge those folks that are coming in so far. Aloha Heather Houston, welcome. And Aloha Kuale, thanks for joining me today. Welcome also to Liliana Barantes. And thank you all for hitting the share button, letting other people know about today. Welcome Stephanie uh, Michelle Montgomery. And welcome Kristen Strachan. Aloha Kathy Arnold. Welcome also to Julia Lawrence. Uh, and welcome Bianca. Aloha Blake, uh, Peggy Blake, and welcome also to Kayla and Tammy Lee Blake, welcome. And welcome also Janice Crosby. Welcome Ali and Aloha Ben. Aloha to Flower Thomas. Welcome also to Anna Ferreira and Leandra. Thank you for joining. <coughs> and so as more and more people uh, line up for today. I want to also share with you that we'll be get, receiving blessings today at about the, the halfway point and I'm going to be using a very special uh, blessed calligraphy. Uh, one of the unique things about the Iabitsa calligraphy, the Tao Source Oneness calligraphy, is that it carries extraordinary high Shen Qi and Jing, which is a subject matter I'll be referring to a lot today. And Shen is a word that means soul, heart, mind. It, it actually stands for spirit or soul in Mandarin Chinese. Uh, but in Master Sha's teaching, it is encompassing soul, heart, and mind. And then Qi and Jing, accordingly, is energy and then matter. And so the Shen, Qi, and Jing can be found in everything. It can be found in a rock. It can be found in a blade of grass. Shen, Qi, and Jing is in this beautiful picture behind me here. And Shen Qi and Jing is in this video as well as in any blessings that are offered or received. And so Shen Qi and Jing can be transmitted to people, objects, and things as well. 
So soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter can be brought into balance in a variety of ways. And that's a big part of what we'll be talking about today as I go through these teachings. So welcome also to Lutzia. And welcome to uh, Barbara Moore Bowling. <coughs> so as we wait for others to join us, let us go ahead and place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. Dropping our left hand in front of our heart center and the right hand gently remaining pointing towards heaven. Let us close our eyes and take the opportunity to fully connect. And I will invite in the beings of light and I will chant for you uh, a mantra to help connect heart to heart, soul to soul. So dear all layers of the divine Tao and the source, our beloved original creator, beloved God, beloved Buddhas, beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Kuan Yin, beloved angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, all Shurfus from all lifetimes. Dear our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels and saints, we love you all, we honor you deeply, appreciate, respect you. We ask for your presence today. That as I go through this wisdom and teaching of Shen Qi Jing, He Yi, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter becomes one, that you guide the wisdom, guide the practice, and guide the blessings as we do the practice to bless each and every one of us to bring our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter into oneness. I'm very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the soul of love, peace, and harmony, source, soul song. We love you, we honor you, deeply appreciate you. We ask you to please be present at this time as well. And as we chant love, peace, and harmony, we ask you to please join with us. We invite all souls and all universes to chant with us. So for those that are new, just tuning in for the first time, I will chant a mantra that is a well-known healing, a miracle level mantra. You can make a request and I will go through it two rounds and uh, you're welcome to join whenever you wish. Lula Lula Li Lula Lula La Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula I love 
of my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. How is a Mandarin Chinese word that means perfect, complete, um, very, doing well. And uh, we say how three times and thank you three times. The first thank you is to all the beings of light, our beloved divine creator. The second thank you is to all the beings of light who have come. And the third thank you is to our own soul. That's why it's repeated three times. <clears throat> so thank you all for clicking on that share button so that other people know about this. Welcome Lodzia, welcome CJ, welcome uh, Linda Jansen, Aloha Angie Taylor, and welcome Pat. Uh, welcome also to Rosemary Fitzsimmons, and welcome NNC. Uh, aloha to Nelson, and Aloha April Aoki. Good to see you here, April. So today I'll be talking about Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Uh, Shen equals soul, heart, mind. Now, Shen is a Mandarin Chinese word that has many translations, actually, depending on how it's pronounced, because literally there's four potential pronunciations, four ways it can be spelled. Uh, but in this example, it means spirit or soul. Um, and in the wisdom and teachings that Master Shah has brought to us, Shen has an even deeper meaning, which is soul, heart, mind. Qi, think of it like Qi, Qigong. Tai Chi. Chi means energy. Very simple. Jing, J-I-N-G, equals matter. So uh, matter is physical element. Uh, and, and so we're talking about uh, the energy moves the matter, okay, as an example. So in the uh, understanding of Shen Qi and Jing He Yi, welcome M.A. Jade, welcome Angela Diacomo. So in the understanding of Shen Qi Jing He Yi, He Yi is a word, uh, two words that mean becomes one. Soul, heart, mind, energy, matter becomes one. Now, in, um, excuse me, in uh, the last few years, uh, my teacher, Master Shah, he has received world-renowned acclaim for doing miracle-level blessings. And uh, the problem with miracle level blessings is humanity doesn't know how to wrap their minds around them. What's happening? Why does it work? They have no point of reference to, to compare it to. Therefore, they can't comprehend it. Therefore, they either are very afraid of it or they, um, they say something negative about it or they flock to it. And so, um, unfortunately, two-thirds of that, I don't understand anything about it, or I say something negative, tends to be the case, because people fear what they don't understand. So part of today's explanation is to help you to understand why such things as uh, Tao miracle blessings can occur. And so, in Master Shah's great intelligence and wisdom, he recognized that he needed to have scientific validation, he needed to have um, medical validation. And he needed both to be um, bulletproof, basically. So because there are so many naysayers and so many uh, people out there that are exceedingly mental oriented, they have basically no conscious uh, spiritual awareness um, that has revealed itself to them. We all have it, of course, but it hasn't at that time revealed itself to them. They're exceedingly built on the structure of if you can't touch it, see it, feel it, it must not be real. So fortunately, Master Shah understood this, and he understood that that's the nature of the human being. And so over the last several years, he has went through the process of bringing about validation through uh, science and through medical approach, using their approved methods and methodologies. Now, with medical approach, it's, it's much more practical, analytical, provable, validatable, double-blind placebo studies, you know, all of that stuff, right? So. He's not doing double blinds, but he has, he has uh, 
a, a world recognized brain surgeon, which is one of his teachers, who knows how to do medically approved studies uh, that get printed in journals. And so he's been in the process of completing those over the last two years. So that part's actually easy to do, to validate uh, a medical miracle uh, by using the Shen Qi Jing He Ying methods that I'll be sharing with you today. The scientific aspect, on the other hand, is much harder to validate out because science typically runs about a hundred years behind anything that's uh, provable because they're working on theories. They're working on things that's, that they try to see under a microscope or try to validate out with math. And so um, you can come up with a theory that could be 100% accurate, but it could literally take them a hundred years to validate it out. So he started about two years ago uh, with this book called Soul Mind Body Medi Soul Mind Body Science System. And the subtitle is Grand Unification Theory and Practice for Healing, Rejuvenation, Longevity, and Immortality. That's a long title. I'll do that one more time. <clears throat> and let me welcome, uh, welcome Vanessa. Welcome also Susan Birchmore. Welcome Robin. Uh, and welcome also to Erica Remmer. So, Soul Mind Body Science System. Okay, nice name. It's co written with a physicist, Dr. and Master Rulin Shu. And the subtitle, though, is interesting. I want to read the subtitle to you again The Grand Unification Theory, which I'll express a little bit more about, and practice for healing. Who, who doesn't want that, right? Rejuvenation. Rejuvenation is awesome. That means you're literally reversing your aging and longevity so when you reverse your age you live longer and immortality who talks about immortality that means live forever never die now the the limited mind says well i don't want to live forever how am i going to pay for my bills how am i going to you know i'm, I'm built to, to make it maybe 100 years i live forever i'm going to be miserable well, that's very limited thinking because those that live forever don't, don't look like a 90 year old guys <laughs> they're going to look quite young 20 30 years old because they figured out how to reverse the soul heart mind energy matter they figured out how to reverse the shen chi and jing of the human vessel they figured out how to align the soul heart mind energy and matter to heaven and mother earth and so this practice is an ancient 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 beyond 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 ancient practice that has uh, modern information brought to it and then validated out through science validated out through medical approach so what i'm going to be sharing with you you can personally validate it out through your own practices it works we'll do a practices today and you can find out for yourself so i'll be using some of the information from these i'm not allowed to actually teach from the books um, because i'm not um, uh, certified to teach from the books which is a good thing you know we don't want uh, these two books I'll be using we don't want an uncertified teacher teaching information we want to make sure they know what they're talking about inside and out upside and down so I'll be reading directly from some certain pages which is okay to do and then we'll work with those applications in real life so the other book I want to refer you to in case this piques your interest is called Dao Wan now this was the first book Master Shah wrote uh, on this subject matter and I just managed to lose my page so give me a second to find it again. There we go. Try not to do that again. And so um, Dao One is also on how to reach longevity, how to reach enlightenment and eventually immortality. and. So Shen, Qi, and Jing becomes one. What does that mean? First, we have to understand the nature of Shen, Qi, and Jing and what causes it to separate versus be one. And of course, the answer is going to be the same, our spiritual virtue and our spiritual debts. Because as a soul, we do live forever. We all come from the one soul. This is yesterday's subject matter. And as that one soul, um, has a has a a wish to experience itself it becomes the many souls that makes up you and me and everything else and the many souls includes all the universes and includes everything we are part of the whole the entirety and uh we as a human being have been endowed with 
creation abilities. What we think, what we put our focus on does eventually come to fruition. Also, what comes to us is uh, aspects of our positive and negative energies that we have introduced into our lives. So we need to be responsible for our lives. So Shen Qi Jing He Yi means uh, the soul carries the messages of all of our lifetimes. That impacts then the heart. If the heart is in control, then it impacts the mind. If the mind is in control, then it impacts the heart negatively. So it's a very important understanding. He doesn't say uh, soul, mind, heart, energy, matter. The teaching is soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. There is an order and there's a very specific order for a very specific reason. Because the way, uh, the way of the Tao, the way of life, the the natural flow of things, that what, that's what Tao means. Follow nature's way, natural flow. The natural flow is from the soul to the heart to the mind, which then moves the energy, which then moves the matter. Okay. Uh, in terms of medicine, I'm going to touch on science, I'm going to touch on medicine. But in terms of health, in terms of medicine, in terms of maintenance of our health and wellness, the current systems work in a little backwards. The Western medicine model works it from the matter level almost exclusively. Uh, they, they take x-rays to find out that there's a tumor, blockages in the matter, or that there is uh, um, uh, problems in the chemistry of the blood, and they measure everything according to ma matter and material imbalances. Uh, so the Western society is very material-based as, as a result. Um, and so they try to fix it with that same comprehension and modality. They try to uh, offer uh, pharmaceuticals to adjust the matter, or they cut it out, or they do any number of things that are related to adjustment of matter. Well, that's the Western approach. But what you'll discover is it doesn't have any impact on the energy, it doesn't have any impact on the mind, it doesn't have any impact on the heart, and it doesn't have any impact on the soul. Because we're addressing it at the bottom of the, the scale. The energy medicine model, which is typically the Eastern medicine model, they deal with things at the level of energy. Tai Chi and Qi Gong, there are colleges and uh, uh, literally health um, uh, hospitals over there that solely do Tai Chi and Qi Gong. That's all they do. And they adjust people's suggested diet structures, uh, applying the Eastern medicine uh, practicums, uh, which is to balance the um, the five elements, earth, wind, fire, excuse me, earth, metal, fire, water, um, I'm missing one, wood. Uh, and so the various foods, the things that they see, uh, these all impact the energies. And the Eastern philosophies, when you can adjust the energies, then the matter has to adjust because the matter follows the energy. Uh, ancient Chinese secret is Shi Dao, Yi Dao. Uh, Shi Dao is moving the chi, move the energy. Yi Dao is the matter moves. So when the energy moves, the blood follows. So that's the Eastern medicine model uh, can impact that energy level and that which is below it. But once again, it does not impact the mind, it does not impact the heart, and it does not impact the soul. So we still have three layers above that. So then we come back to mind over matter which has been very popular for many hundreds of years, implemented quite a bit more in the last one and two hundred years, and people have used it to become very successful. Um, but for many people, it has become a significant problem. If you look at your world and you recognize that you find yourself in your mind a lot, um, and you have a lot of emotional suffering as a result, that's because you've allowed your mind to have control over your heart. Your heart is not in control of your mind. It's in reverse. And so, literally, on an energetic level, if you could see the human body, it would be like an upside-down pyramid. Um, the energetic body literally has... Uh, it's a, it's, we, we know that it has the seven chakras, and we know that energetically we, we need to be very grounded, solid base, and that as we move up, we need to be lighter, 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 sharper, more pointed, energetically speaking. So when we get to these higher chakras and higher energy centers, they need to be very sharp, very fine, very focused, very pure. We want a good, solid, strong foundational base so, so that if something heavy emotional comes, like a big wave, 
we have this solid base and the big wave hits us and because of our sharp foundation it just kind of scrolls right over us doesn't bother us it might push us an inch and then we find our way back but unfortunately the vast majority of humanity is in reverse they're standing on the tip of the pyramid where the base is upside down that means that they're top heavy that means that they're very mind oriented so the mind is controlling the heart and this is a significant problem when it comes to balancing the shen qi jing he yi when it comes to uh, bringing the soul heart mind energy and matter into oneness when we can bring soul heart mind energy and matter into oneness what are we doing we are literally returning to source that's literally what it is shen qi jing he yi is the fast track the shortcut it is the rocket ship back to source So it stands to reason that if you can comprehend that, that one should do absolutely everything they need to do, everything they can possibly think of doing to realign that which is out of balance. And so given that the vast majority of people have an upside down structure where they're very weak in their uh, spiritual intelligence and very heavy in their mind and heart level blockages, then that needs to be reversed so that the Shin Chi Jing can come into balance. Now there is again the shortcut to do that and a faster way to accomplish that. So welcome also to Johnny. Welcome Loveness. Welcome to Victor Bijo. Thank you for coming. Thank you all for hitting the share button. Welcome Shelly. And welcome also Janie Jane. <coughs> so yeah, most of humanity. Because if humanity was in the proper order uh, where they they were coming from their soul and their heart that we would not have the war and the chaos that we currently do so the vast majority are stuck in the materiality of the world they are, are are very lost in the mind very lost in the desires very lost in all of those things that are not of uh, an enlightenment order if you will and so all of the wisdom and teachings that are in, in, in the, the higher level um, approaches out there, they give you practices to ground your, your energies, to ground your chakra system, to gently, slowly, and safely clear the blockages in your energetic body. They give you practices to boost your foundational energy centers, to slowly, gently, and correctly boost and open your kundalini area. And when people do this in a correct manner, sure enough, the upside down pyramids writes itself and you become that flat solid base from which you can build that higher foundation. Aloha and welcome Pamela. Thanks for joining today. So another way to accomplish this, which is equally as fast, which is a wonderful thing. You want to be able to do this quickly is to actually apply the mantra and the calligraphies that Master Shah has brought to us. Now, one of the things I started out by saying, some of you might not have heard it, is that everything, everyone and everything, is made up of Shen, Qi, Jing, He, Yi. Welcome, Diana. Thank you for joining. Everyone and everything is made up of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Well, that also means that a piece of paper can be made up of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. It means that this water bottle and the water in it can be made up of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. If everything is made up of that, then it stands to reason that some things have a higher frequency and some things have a lower frequency. If you, if this was the highest healing nutrients known to man, validated scientifically, it's miracle, miracle, miracle stuff. All the doctors are slathering about it and the science is wondering how it works. It was miracle stuff. And I poured it into my body. What in essence is it doing from the spiritual perspective? It is creating in my body a frequency that is more in alignment with original frequency. That's what healing is. That's when we are more in alignment with our original purest self. Because our purest soul self, if we were perfectly in alignment with it, would be one with God. 
our purest soul self would be free of spiritual debt, free of all yin and yang karma stuff, and we would just be a pure being, one that our shen qi jing he yi would be perfectly aligned. But we're not quite there. And if we take uh, something that's miraculous and all of a sudden we're healed overnight, well then that means that that object or that product, whatever it is, has a very high shen qi and jing. It has a high frequency. So frequency can be put into many things. Yesterday I was reading about a special water. Um, you're welcome to research it on your own. I think it's pretty good stuff. I'm not promoting it. Again, do your own homework. But I came across it. I did my homework on it. I thought it was cool. And it's called divinya. Um, like the word divine, you remove the E and put I-A on the end. Divinya. What is it? It's just water. But they patented it, went through a lot of purification and put some frequencies, did something to it that basically helps it to create miracles. Cool. So it carries a higher frequency that adjusts our lower frequencies. That, in essence, is what Shen Qi Jing He Yi is. It's aligning things back to original source. Now, everything can carry Shen Qi Jing He Yi, such as Mother Earth. How do you know what level of purity is in any object or thing? The answer is simple. How long has it survived? Okay. How long does a human being survive? Average human being, about 80 years. So our Shen Qin Jing is exceedingly limited. We are dying consistently. Now our Shen Qin Jing is being impacted negatively by all the negative frequencies in the airwaves, by all the chemicals in the food, by our desires, thoughts, blah, 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 blah. But we're only living about 80 years on average. Uh, how long has Mother Earth lived here? As long as science can validate about 4 billion years. So that's about 4 billion more than you and me. So what do you think her Shen Qi and Jing is? What do you think her frequency is? I would bet her frequency is much higher than this. That's my guess. Because my guess is that that special water, which is good stuff, probably won't last 4 billion years. Um, so... What's my point? I mentioned multiple times, everything carries Shen, Qi, and Jing. In order for us to naturally heal, in order for us to get the uh, highest, best value out of this life, we must, it's not even a question of should, must align our heart and mind to our soul. We must align our energy and matter to our heart and mind. We must put them all together in a beautiful alignment and when we do it's kind of like opening the gateway between heaven and earth because the channel runs through us perfectly heaven's frequency is much higher than earth's frequency earth's been here seven billion years how long's heaven been here probably longer definitely a higher frequency because well, how do we know that because it's not physical do you get it so that which has been here longest has a long life, longevity, immortality. That which is you can't even see it's vibrating at a higher frequency has a higher Shen Qi and Jing. So heaven and Mother Earth are constantly infusing lovingly out of the purity of their unconditional hearts their highest Shen Qi and Jing upon you, upon me, 100% of the time. 100% of the time. How come we don't feel that? How come we're busy in our little world of, oh, me, oh, my, you know, complain about this, complain about this. Why me? Why that? I can never do this. I can never succeed. I can never have a boyfriend. I can never. Ne Why are we stuck in our little, you know, complaining world when we've got this amazing funnel of the highest life frequency pouring through us 100% of the time? Simple answer, our soul is not aligned to our heart, which is not aligned to our mind, and so forth, all the way down. When we align to our soul by doing soul practices, our heart can listen clearly to the guidance from the soul. The soul's guidance is exceedingly wise 
You think it's enjoying you getting your tail kicked here on earth? Do you think your soul is enjoying you whining uh, uh, for years about not having a soulmate? Do you think your soul is enjoying you crying about your financial problems? No, of course not. Your soul has many, many good solutions, things that will bring you right out of those blockages. But you're not aligned, therefore you can't receive the wisdom, the blessings, and so forth. And so we must clear the blockages in our heart. We must clear the blockages in our mind. We must do it consciously ourselves. There's nobody who's going to come along and wave a fairy wand and say, okay, you're all clear. Just go straight up to heaven now. Good to go. Not going to happen, guys. we got to do the work on our own. Okay? And so that's why I'm here four days of the week assisting you with clearing these blockages little by little, doing our forgiveness practices. So the first level is understanding that our soul is exceedingly wise. Our soul has virtually all the guidance we need and our soul has a connection to source, a direct connection to source. Our soul has a 1 million megabyte straight up upload data stream to source and it's receiving the highest pure wisdom and blessings and it's trying to give it to you the personality but you still got to tune in. How do we tune in? We clear the heart blockages. What are the heart blockages? Inappropriate thinking, you know, thinking that is not wise, thinking that is not thoughtful and considerate of the whole. Selfishness in our thoughts, words, and actions. Okay? Greed. These are some heart blockages. Jealousies. These are heart blockages, right? These are blockages of of a lack of love in most cases. And a lot of you are doing your part. Life is getting better for you. Your health is improving. You're starting to see the... I, I'm, I'm doing this explanation, but then I'm going to give you a shortcut. Okay, so hang in there. Uh, mind blockages. How many of you are actually watching your thinking? Make you know doing your best to not say that negative thing better than that you catch yourself but you still thought it right are you unwinding that thought why do why does that come up for me why is it every time I see this person that keeps coming up for me why okay then you can unwind it at the level of the thought if we do this throughout the day we are removing negative mindsets attitudes and beliefs we are removing those things that uh, block our mind. The soul can then speak, which it's always doing, and it can share to the heart. Dear the heart, please give the mind an order to go do this. The mind will listen to the heart. Why? Because you took the time to get them in order. You took the time to open your heart. You took the time to say no to the mind when the mind wants to go do something out of a protectionistic response, which is often how you can identify if it's a mind or a heart-based choice. The mind-based choice is always protectionistic. The heart-based choice goes on feeling, even if it's not logical, which is mind. The heart goes on feeling. It may be illogical to the mind, but if, you, if the mind says it's illogical, it's because it's protectionistic. The mind is all about protection. The heart is what listens to the soul. And so you can discern the difference this way. So you listen to the mind, follow that emotion, and then give the, the mind an order. You listen to the heart, follow that emotion, give the mind an order. Tell it what to do. We're going to go do this. This is my order. Okay? And the mind then creates the energy and matter. What does that mean? Creates the energy and matter. We are manifestors. We are all personally responsible for all of our life. All of the wonderful things that you enjoy with that wonderful spouse. All the not so pleasant things you don't enjoy with the pain and suffering. We are responsible for our life. The energy and matter that is our life can be manipulated at the level of soul. You've heard of mind over matter. If you think about it enough, it will happen. Yeah. That's almost true. It can be derailed by soul blockages. Soul blockages are karma blockages. 
so we can have the greatest mind intent to succeed at this business or to succeed at this whatever but if the soul level blockages get in the way we're not going to go very far the soul blockages are the karma blockages that impede us from that success from that healthy relationship so we have to deal with it again at the level of soul forgiveness asking forgiveness making amends offering forgiveness to all those that we're holding a grudge against uh, what do we ask for and offer forgiveness for whatever the blockage area is very simple okay you're going forward you have your mindset on this da, 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 da. blockage comes up okay obviously this is where I have harmed others let me work with this at the soul level uh, receive blessings from a master teacher uh, do forgiveness practice you know whatever you need to do clear those blockages set your heart go again this time you might go right over that road bump no problem okay so the soul leads the heart but the heart can't hear the soul if we've got these heart blockages the greed the the, the selfishness the the uh, lack of opening the lack of love for self lack of love for divine these are all close the heart blockages why do you think we do so many open heart practices because when the heart is open it can hear the soul then it can steer the mind then it will move the energy and matter what does moving the energy and matter mean that literally means you're manifesting either health in your body or you're manifesting that job you want or you're manifesting that relationship you want but that's what it, the movement of energy and matter means unfortunately about 95 percent of us do this by default we do it out of a lack of consciousness there's about five percent of us that are very aware and we're consciously manipulating our life to be better and better and better and then out of that 95% there's maybe another 20% that are in the waking up process that are just becoming aware of this and they're kind of wobbling inside they're trying to figure it out and then the other are still sleeping so as we uh, recognize Shen Qi Jing He Yi we can have a far 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 better life so we know that earth has a higher frequency you know that heaven has a higher frequency and we know that if we clear our stuff then heaven and earth's frequencies will come through us and like a like a pillar of light start helping us to do and be a lot happier and do a lot better so when we are in that place we can rapidly enhance if we're not in that place we can rapidly enhance it how do we do that we apply the uh, Shen Shi Jing He Yi wisdom Master Shah has brought to us so I'll read this to you now I'm in page 116 of the Tao One book uh, welcome also to Jessica Smiley welcome to uh, Elder Pamela welcome also to uh, Janet <coughs> and welcome Erica Rimmer welcome also to CJ and welcome also to Crane Aloha and I think I've acknowledged you NNC welcome and Laura Shelton and welcome Christina Walker okay so I'll read one or two pages to you and then we'll move into a, a specific practice that will serve you Shen Gong Jur Wei Bing, Bu Jur Yi Bing. <laughs> Sounds like an English person trying to say Chinese. <coughs> Shen Gong means best doctor. Ji Jur means treat. Wei Bing means before sickness happens. Bu means not, and Yi Bing means already sick. Shen Gong Jur Wei Bing, Bu Shur Yi Bing means the best doctor prevents people from becoming sick instead of treating them before they are sick there are many approaches and techniques to conventional modern medicine traditional Chinese medicines and all different forms of modalities to bring health and wellness to the body I am honored to share a special secret for preventing all sickness this secret is to sing or chant the mantra Shen Qi Jing He Yi. Listen to the singing. 
of Shen Chi Jing He Yi on the CD. And we'll do that in a minute. His verbiage is Shen means all souls, all souls, including one's body soul, the soul of your systems, your organs, your cells, your cell units, your RNA, your DNA, your smallest matter inside the cells and the spaces between the cells. So Shen Qi Jing He Yi doesn't just mean your body soul. When you are chanting the mantra Shen Qi Jing He Yi, you are aligning the soul of every soul in your body. The base teaching that Master Shah brings to us, every soul, uh, everything has a soul. In other words, everything has a spirit of divine in it. Every soul's purpose is to serve. So if the billions of cells in your body and all the small energy and matter of your body have souls, when you chant soul, heart, mind, energy, matter become one, you are in essence giving a soul order. Qi means energy, including the whole body Qi and the Qi of all systems, cells, uh, Qi of all systems. So what is Qi? Qi is energy. So the energy, the Qi of all your cells, your cell units, your spaces, your organs, your system. So you're telling all your energy to align as well. What is Jing? Jing is matter, including the matter of your systems, your organs, your cells, your cell units, your RNA, your DNA, the smallest matter inside the cells and the spaces between the cells. So you're, you're giving your body an order to align all the matter as one. He Yi means join as one. Shen Chi Jing He Yi means join soul, heart, mind, energy and matter as one. A jindan is a divine or Tao treasure for preventing sickness. Every time you sing or chant Shen Qi Jing He Yi, you are forming a jindan. Jindan means light ball. So as you're chanting, you're forming a light ball. You are gathering your Shen, Qi and Jing as one. The soul of all your organ systems, the energy of all your organ systems, the matter of all your organ, they're gathering as one. What is a purely enlightened being? The ones that you hear about, read about, fairy tales, the ones that walk on water, the ones that uh, disappear and reappear, the ones that manifest food in their hands. How is that possible? Their Shen Qi and Jing is exceedingly aligned to heaven and mother earth. Their physical vessel is almost pure light. So for them, it's really nothing. They think about something, it manifests in their hands. They want to walk on water? Okay, not a problem. Because their frequency is aligned to the higher frequencies that are always running through us 100% of the time. Shen Qi Jing He Yi is one of the major divine treasures and Tao treasures to heal or prevent all sickness and help humanity to reach the youth and purity of a baby. Pretty amazing, huh? That's just two pages in his book on how to reach enlightenment. So now I'm switching books and we're going to use an actual uh, practice here. And this will be something you can get yourself. This is in the Soul, Heart, Mind, Energy and Matter book. Welcome Christine uh, Master Bartello. Welcome also uh, Heather. And welcome Elizabeth Marie. So in this Soul Mind Body Medicine System book, Master Shah put one of his most powerful calligraphies and even I have to remind myself how, um, how foolish I am for not using it more often. It, it, we are so, I say this very gently, we are so unaware of the extraordinary power that is in these books because we don't use them. So I tell you again, please consider getting it. Uh, you can pick this up for maybe $10, $15 on Amazon. So here's the calligraphy. Now it's going to be backwards in your image. I can't change that. I apologize. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to hold it up for you to trace. But here it is. Now what it says is S plus E plus M equals 1. 
and then you see the Mandarin Chinese words down this column and they're written in a special oneness calligraphy. Now I started by sharing with you that everything carries Shen, Qi, and Jing. That, um, that Shen, Qi, and Jing can be transmitted to others. I mentioned that, that that water I told you about had its frequencies adjusted, therefore it created a higher frequency that when it entered a person's body, it adjusted that person's body. So higher frequency can adjust other frequencies that are vibrating at lesser amounts. Well, the unique thing about this spiritual master, Master Shah, is he can transmit the frequencies from heaven into an object, into, in this case, a calligraphy. And this calligraphy carries the mantra, Shen Qi Jing He Yi. So literally, it's like an order. It's like uh, asking heaven, would you please come to sit in this piece of paper, and when people connect with you, could you please bless them to align their soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter of all of their organs, all of their systems, all of their cells, all of their cell units, RNA, DNA, smallest matter, into a beautiful little golden ball so that they can be free of all of their health issues, emotional issues, and everything else in their life. Talk about a gift. And all we got to do is practice. That's all we got to do. Now you can ask anything that you want. That's the beautiful part about this. Because if you have uh, liver issues, then your soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter in your liver is out of alignment. You have emotional blockages, your soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter is out of alignment with that emotional condition. Meaning you have karma, so to speak. These calligraphies clear the negative blockages. They bring in the highest positive frequency of the highest realms and uh, the frequencies at the lower uh, part in our, in our physical body, in our um, energy body, has to transform. No different than if we drink that good water, it's going to transform the lower uh, frequencies in our body. So, why did he put the S plus E plus M equals 1? Soul plus energy plus matter equals 1. Shen, Qi, Jing, He, Yi, same thing. English, Mandarin, Chinese. Soul plus energy plus matter equals one. This is a physics science explanation. I told you in the beginning uh, that he's validated out through medical processes the efficacy of these miracle level blessings uh, that, that he is able to offer. And so now the science part, a second book is coming out to validate for the physics world, the science world, that soul is real, that soul exists. How do you commit to a scientific brain, a person that's so left brain they didn't even know what love is, that, that love exists, that soul exists. You can only do it through math. So here's the equation. S plus E plus M equals 1. So if you're more on the brainiac side, you may read this book, but we're just going to receive the blessings from it, okay? So individually, make a request for your area of choice. It can be an emotion. It can be a mindset. It can be a financial blockage. It can be a relationship blockage. It can be a specific health issue. Why can this bless all of those? Because those are all soul, heart, mind, energy, matter imbalances. It doesn't matter what area of your life it shows up in. It's all the same solution. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect with the soul of this calligraphy the countless layers of blessings placed within this calligraphy and I will ask it to subdivide to each of you that are watching. I will ask it and listening on podcast and I will ask it to serve you for your individual requests. I will then do what's called tracing for you uh, which, which is a special feature of how to invoke and utilize this calligraphy to serve you. Okay, And again, my recommendation if you're into free blessings, if you're into healing yourself, if you would like to quit suffering, go buy the book. Use it. It's very simple. Not hard to do. You just got to do it consistently and then uh, you'll know if the, if the pear is sweet. Okay, so silently make your request. <clears throat> I will chant the mantra, Shen Qi Jing He Yi, while I'm chanting. You are more than welcome to chant with me. But keep your eyes closed and visualize light, golden light or rainbow light, whatever is easier for you, 
coming to the request if it's a relationship see it blessing the people in the relationship if it's a blockage in an organ or system see it coming to that area if it's finances uh, see see uh, blessings coming to your heart chakra area okay if it's um, if it's something else that you're not sure just see the blessings coming to your heart chakra area so do the soul of this calligraphy Shen Chi Jing He Yi Master Shah's original calligraphy connected to this as appropriate I ask most humbly most sincerely that all the blessings layers of divine Tao and source healing treasures and more transmitted to you please subdivide from this calligraphy go to everybody watching everybody listening and offer a blessing as appropriate for their individual requests I'm very grateful thank you thank you thank you okay so please chant with me Shen Chi Jing He Yi 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 Continue to chant silently. I will trace on your behalf and I will offer a soul reading as to what is actually occurring with this blessing. Continue to chant. Shen Chi Jing He Yi 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 好, I am one of the saints asked to serve through this calligraphy. There are approximately 10,000 saints' animals and 100,000 heavenly beings that have come to serve each of you. Some of them carry herbs from Heaven's Herb Gardens and they are distributing in the appropriate amounts the herbs to those of you who can benefit. Others have scrolls and wisdom to assist you so that you can be successful in your requests. Wisdom is being distributed to your heart center, for it is the heart wisdom 
that will serve you. There has been several requests for healing of the heart due to painful relationships. There is many of heaven's animals who bring the elixirs of heaven's frequencies and they enter your heart chamber and they release the pain and blockages that consistently create negativity, worry, and fear of a future other than what you have. There is also at this time many angelic beings that are serving with their song. They have an entire orchestra chanting with you the Shen Qi Jing He Yi Mantra. There is a great many beings of light that are quite busy reorganizing the various Shen Qi Jing energy matter blockages into a more orderly fashion specific to your area of request. There is obviously some negative energies and frequencies that create or sustain the continuation of this blockage. And as appropriate, they are being diminished, lightened, or removed, depending upon the depth of the debt and the amount of time given. It is true what this one has said, that if you actually did this practice daily, you would significantly reduce your imbalances and dramatically increase your spiritual, physical awareness, wellness, and alignment. You are all each very, very blessed on this day. Shen Qi Jing He Yi 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 Ha 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. So connect. How are you doing now? If you ask for something tangible and measurable, check that. I ask for blessings from my neck and shoulders. I actually feel about 30% about released. So thank you. Thank you, Heaven Dow Source. Thank you, the soul of this calligraphy. Welcome, Christina Thorson, and welcome also to uh, Nathan. Welcome, uh, LT. Good to see you here. <clears throat> and so, please share. Uh, what was this experience for you? I was quite hot. I had to move the pillow away from my back and allow the, the chi to flow through me with, with greater speed and efficacy. I was kind of inhibiting it with the pillow there. Um, what was your experience? So Shen Qi Jing He Yi is a very, very simple uh, mantra. And oftentimes the mind, again the mind, right, not our friend, uh, the mind needs to be our servant, not the other way around. 
um, often, yeah, often we need to pay attention to when we are out of alignment. We can tell our emotions can knock us out, our mind can knock us out. And a simple chanting of Shen Qi Jing He Yi literally goes zook, aligns everything. Why? Because it is a mantra, it is a sound power. It is a mantra that carries exceedingly high frequency. And if we are in a place or in a position where we can apply that calligraphy, you could have extraordinary benefits. You have to understand that if you have a five gallon bucket of, of ice cold water and you start adding, uh, you turn on the hot water, it's going to take a while for that ice cold water to become first lukewarm and eventually, maybe an hour later, it'll become hot. Okay? Well, if you have a lifetime of blockages, you need to add a lot of hot water. Therefore, you need some of the powers and frequencies that are associated with these calligraphies. Um, these are shortcuts. I'm telling you guys, these kinds of shortcuts, the, the monks and the masters that lived in the mountains hundreds and hundreds of years ago, they wished they had these kinds of shortcuts. They wished they had these kinds of blessings available. So this is what is available to us, thank goodness, for uh, the spiritual beings that have come to humanity to serve us at this time. Susan says she was chanting and put one hand on her, on her poorly dog and one hand, uh, and she started quivering and now fell asleep. Wow, so big blessings for the, for the beautiful pet. Uh, welcome also to uh, Kate and Nicole and welcome Jeff. Vanessa says, piercing noises in her right ear. Ask to be more aligned with her soul, uh, her mind and body. Aloha, Willow. <clears throat> yeah, wonderful. I'm glad it served you, Jeff. You're very welcome. Hope to see you in Europe. I'll be there uh, very soon. <clears throat> so, do take advantage of any of the calligraphies in Master Shaw's books. Do not allow your brain to get in the way of understanding. You do not need to understand. You just need to do the practice that is suggested. The results will validate out the efficacy. The results will uh, validate out uh, the imbalances as they are. So Willow, Willow, the answer is yes, I can help you. I am a master teacher and I have been blessed with extraordinary abilities to serve you. Um, please connect with me afterwards. We'll see what we can do, okay? Um, so uh, Kate says we will have to come back and watch the sounds interesting yeah so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up thank you for coming thank you for sharing uh, tomorrow is Friday so it's my day off so to speak and I will be on sabbatical for um, a month Monday yeah this is this is, uh, I'm not going to come back on Monday. I've got too many things going on, too many preparations I need to do for my trip Tuesday morning. And so um, uh, this will be my last live stream for about a month. For all of those that uh, might miss some of the wisdom or, or want to stay connected to these energy frequencies, highly, highly, highly recommend go above the video, go to my archives, go to my podcast, through my website, it's all listed how to access it above the video. And when you are there, you can um, you can watch some of the older ones. You know, they all still carry the same Shen Qi and Jing. They carry the same wisdom, uh, just different subject matters. Most of you know have they have blessings in them. In almost every case, the blessings, uh, you know, blessings work months later. Doesn't matter. And so, um, by all means, uh, take advantage of those. I will, of course, be checking in uh, whenever possible uh, when I'm over there. And for my students, I'll have, will be maintaining the uh, the twice a week classes. Okay, so I wish to offer my deepest gratitude for all of you coming and your sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. All the beings of light respectfully return. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody.